good morning everyone we are coming back for another session of tau overflows inner conflict and chaos inner conflict is the seed of chaos and other situations that you see all around at personal level at international level you are the seed god has created you in his image god is not a person but light but that light is big clouded under the clouds of ignorance and conditionings of many types religious conditionings social conditionings political conditionings and wrong identities you are identified with religion you are ident not with religiosity you are identified with nationalities and you have forgotten that each one of you is created by god in his image as light and unless that light you realize light is realize that you are light on to yourself you cannot be a beacon light you cannot be a christ consciousness or buddha consciousness then wrong identities that i am identified with this with that and so that creates conflict the seed of conflict when it goes downward it leads to the situation of chaos conflict war and all sort of turmoil and disturbances that you see within and outside when the same seed the light begins to blossom and manifest out of you you attain to awakening you become not only light on to yourself then and only then you can live a life of bliss beyond conflict beyond duality duality is the basis of conflict so these two titles first title life how life comes into existence what it means then love and light love connects life and light together it bridges love is the seed in you love explains that we are not aliens nor as strangers join we are bound to each other by a causeless force there is a power within that knows beyond our knowings along the path we realize that we are all one then love bridges life and light then you have for the first time in psychological terms actualized yourself or you have realized the self which is the replica of godliness in you the image of god in the micro form is the self the soul the roo the atma the consciousness and when all the identities merge into the ocean of 
consciousness, something borns out of you, you are light unto yourself, you have realized the self, you have explored the potentials that you have, you are born with. Each seed has enormous potentiality to blossom into a flower. When all the seeds blossom, seeds means individuals. When all the individuals, individual seeds are blossomed, there is season of spring has come. The garden is blossomed with beauty and fragrance. In the absence of this, we see chaos, we see conflict, we see anger in different forms, anger becoming violence, violence becoming leading to wars. We do not have respect for each other's respect for each other, each other's integrity, territory, at individual level, between two is between lover and beloved. We do not have respect for one another, respect for their boundaries. Two nations do not have the respect for the territorial integrity and of the people all around. Then the conflict continues to mushroom, becomes anger at individual level. When anger of many people accumulate together under one banner, it leads to what we see all around us, terror, fear, fear for life and many things. So it is the cumulative anger in the cumulative form becomes, takes the shape at individual level, it becomes violence. At a broader level, it becomes, it leads to conflict, it leads to fear, it leads to disrespect for the humanity, disrespect for the citizens, disrespect for the territorial integrity of the countries, individuals. And this is the cause that we see the conflict in ourselves. The way to Eliminate this is to know what your potentials are. You have to remember, not only remember, but self-actualize. Realize the self that you are light onto yourself. The moment you realize that you are light onto yourself, you live a life beyond duality. Where there is no distinction between male and female, like two sides of the same coin. When they neutralize one another, when ovum and sperm neutralize one another, as light, a transcendence, a new life comes into existence. It is not the conflict between ovum and sperm. When there is no conflict between the male and female, conflict between two individuals, then you live a life beyond, life of bliss beyond duality. In the absence of this, we are, we see what it is happening all around us in different parts of the globe. Conflict leading to territorial disintegrity, disrespect. We do not follow the law of the individual law. We do not follow the law that has been 
established to establish peace and harmony between nations according to the Charter of the United Nations and other bodies. At individual level, God has given you a way to respect the other. Jesus said, love your neighbor as thyself. We have forgotten the teachings of the Masters, teachings of the Awakened Ones. We are following, trying to interpret the messages of the Masters in their own asinine wisdom for the personal interest, many personal interests, not and without you in order to understand the words of the prophets, words of the masters, words of the awakened one, you have to reach to a certain amount of certain degree of spiritual maturity, not the religious maturity, not the biological maturity. You need to be an awakened one yourself. Only then you can understand what Jesus means when he says one who is childlike can enter the kingdom of the Father. You cannot understand the message of Buddha or Holy Prophet or anyone. You are bound to misinterpret and any kind of misinterpretation of the words or the message of the Masters will lead to inner conflict and Cumulative form of this inner conflict will lead to territorial conflict. Conflict may turn into violence. Violence may lead to wars and many other things that we are seeing all around. What is the way out for this? You have to understand first of all, what does it mean self-actualization? What is the process of realizing the Self, that you are the light, life? You have to understand what is life, why it has been given to us, so that you can blossom. Life is the seed. It can blossom into flower, and when it blossoms, it becomes light. Love bridges the two. Then you are light onto yourself and you are the beacon light for anyone that comes in your contact. Only then you can lead a life of bliss and let others lead a life of bliss beyond duality, beyond conflict, beyond anger, beyond fear, beyond anything of that nature. Only this much for this afternoon. Thanks for viewing it and being part of this Tao Overflows. We are open for many such small topics as time permits us. Thank you and see you again.